Hi everyone, I am Katie the Crafty Vlog Stalker and today we are going to be making a handmade card using some of the new Laura Kelly product by Thermaweb. These are the products that we are going to be using from Laura Kelly and I want to thank her for sending these to me so that I can do this project for you. Today we're going to be using this stamp set. Let's see, what's it called? Kindness on Purpose, Kindness on Purpose stamp set. We've got some toner sheets and some gorgeous foil sheets. I love crafting with foil. To make it easy, I have created cutouts showing you the size of each piece that we need to cut to make our card. So I'm going to be using two sheets of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. I've got white and yellow. But with this piece right here, we're going to be using the Laura Kelly toner sheets. So we don't need to cut this size out of the white cardstock, only this size. So let's go ahead and start cutting our paper. I'm gonna bring in my Fiskars paper trimmer. I love this paper trimmer. It's hard for you to see, but the reason I love it so much is there is this thin little wire uh, through the cutting guide here that will show you exactly where you cut and it's awesome So the first thing we're going to do is create the base of our card and we're basically just going to cut this piece in half Lengthwise, so we're going to cut it at five and a half inches and keep that Eight and a half width right there So there's the base of our card and then we need another piece that is four inches by three inches. Okay, so these are just scrap. I don't need these anymore. And we're gonna set these two pieces aside for our card. Now for our white, we're gonna cut one piece out two and three quarters inches. Two and three quarters by three and three quarters. So this is the piece that we need for our card. This is all scrap, but we're going to be using this piece as well. So keep it close. Next, we are going to do our foiling. So we're going to do yellow, sunshine yellow foil transfer sheets to match our yellow cardstock. And for our toner sheets, Oh, they're both so cute. Dauntless Diamonds and Baby Swiss Dots. Let's do the Swiss Dots. So I'm just going to take one sheet out of each. Toner sheets come with six. The foil sheets come with 12. I'm just going to grab one of those out of the package. And then one of the foil sheets. Now the foil sheets really like to stick together. So just make sure that you are only grabbing one. And hold that adhesive packaging away and pull it out. Now here comes the magic. You may be asking, how do you make the foil stick to the toner sheet? Well, the magic is my mink machine by Heidi Swap. So let's bring that in. There is my mink machine. And what we're gonna do is we've got this little folder here and we're going to open that up and we're going to place our toner sheet with the dots facing up and then our foil sheet on top and we want to make sure that the foil sheet covers all the dots in the laminator or in the mink machine which is basically just a laminator. So if you don't have a mink, but you have a laminator, this will still work perfectly. Okay, and we're just gonna lightly feed it in there. You can feel the machine, grab it and pull it out. And that's just gonna take a minute just to go through that heat and pressure. Okay, so that's done. So we're done with our mink machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and set that aside. And now here comes the fun part. And take that out. 
of the little envelope there. And then you get to peel back the foil. Isn't that so satisfying? And look at how pretty, so pretty and shimmery. Now this sheet is used, we cannot reuse this sheet if we tried. Basically anywhere where the foil has been removed, it won't restick. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw this sheet away now that we have this piece all ready to go. Now this is the sheet that we need to trim down. So I'm gonna bring in my paper cutter again. And this one needs to be four inches by five and a quarter. Now we have all of the cut pieces that we need to assemble our card. So next we are going to stamp. We're gonna go back to our Laura Kelly stamp set and I love this little mailbox here. So I've already got that mounted on a clear block. And here is that piece of scrap paper that I said we were going to use. We're gonna stamp our image onto this. So we're gonna open up our little black ink pad here. And just go over that really well. And the rule with stamping is straight up and straight down. That's how you get the best lines. And you can just stamp this anywhere on there. So straight down, straight up. Now my stamped image looks really cute, but to give it a little bit more color, I'm just gonna bring in my colored pencils here and we are going to color it. I need a gray for the mailbox and uh, like a tannish brown for the post. Okay, so let's start with that post. And I'm just gonna color. And then a red. A red flag. Okay, now we are going to cut this out. And we are just gonna cut it out by hand. I just got my handy dandy scissors here. And we're just gonna leave a little bit of a white trim around all of those edges. And there is our cute little mailbox. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so now we're gonna add this to our card. Let me clean up my mess. Now we're gonna bring in our pieces and we're gonna start assembling. And I like to assemble from the top down. So here is my cute little mailbox. On the back I have attached some adhesive foam squares. I cut one in half right there to put down the post. But before I adhere that, it's gonna go about right there. I want to add my stamp. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp again right there. This time we're going to be using the Happy Mail stamp because this is happy mail everyone loves to receive cards and again i've already got it mounted so i'm just going to add some ink and then straight down and straight up straight down straight up happy mail perfect and now i can take off the backing sheets to those foam squares. Okay, I'm gonna bring that in. And then we can just put our mailbox there on that piece. And can you see how that just stands out? It gives that little bit of dimension. We're gonna take the three inch by four inch piece and we're just going to center that on there. So I've got my adhesive here. I'm gonna go around all the edges with the adhesive, the double-sided adhesive. And I'm gonna center that on there. Oh, it's 
looking so cute already. And then again, we're gonna layer. So we're gonna layer that piece on our cute little foil sheet that we did. Again, we're just gonna center like that. Isn't it looking so cute? Okay, now before we put this on, I like to fold my paper in half first so I don't accidentally put it on the wrong side or <laughs> anything like that. So we're just going to fold that piece of paper in half. So now we know that's our front. And again, we are just going to layer. and center. Now I like to eyeball, but if you're one that needs to get out a ruler, that is totally fine too. But there is our cute little card, happy mail. Who wouldn't love to receive some happy mail? Write a little message in there. And that is so cute. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. While you're here, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube, ring that bell, and you can always find me at my home base at thecraftyblogstalker.com. Thanks everyone. Bye and happy crafting.